welcome to the Teaching Corner. Today I'm going to take you on the road with me and I'm going to show you what it's like to be an itinerant teacher for the deaf and hard of hearing. Oftentimes as an itinerant teacher, you're gonna get whatever place is available. I'm very lucky at my current location to actually get to have a classroom. This is called the hospitality room where I'm at right now with my second student. Um, one of the main things you have to be as an itinerant teacher is flexible because sometimes you can have a classroom, but that's very, very rare. I've been in hallways, I've been in trailers, I've been in, um, you know, like this, a hospitality room, I've been in library rooms, I've been in conference rooms. You really just end up taking whatever space is available. So um, if you happen to get a classroom, you're very, very lucky. But the other thing about it is you have to be flexible. This classroom that I'm, or this room that I'm in right now, the hospitality room, is the room that they do their standardized testing in. So a couple of times a year, I can't use this room and I end up having to use an empty classroom. A couple weeks ago that actually happened to me and I went into another classroom and a teacher in her class showed up so then we had to move to another classroom so the name of the game in in being itinerant is just being flexible and realizing that you're not at that school all day long all these other teachers are and they're trying to accommodate you the best that they can but that also means that when they need the space they take priority so you're just gonna have to do the very best that you can like I said, flexibility is the name of the game. I strongly recommend as an itinerant teacher that you make friends with people. Um, the librarian here at this school has been super, super helpful and she made sure to reserve, reserve a room for me. That's not very typical, but remember your librarians, the people at the front desk, the custodians often are going to see you more than some of the other folks in the school. So be super nice to them. They can often get you in places or provide you with things that other people might not. Another thing I wanted to mention to you about flexibility is recognizing that sometimes as an itinerant teacher, you're not going to be told everything um, and sometimes students are going to, you're going to show up to a school and students aren't going to be there. For instance, last week I had two students who were out sick. Um, I've also had students sometimes out on a field trip. Sometimes you're lucky enough for the teachers to remember to let you know that those students aren't going to be out on a field trip. Sometimes you're just going to show up and they're not going to be there. So I always try to use that time wisely. I either use it um, to do lesson plans, but sometimes that's difficult if I'm not around all the things I lesson plan with normally, or um, I use it to do paperwork, check on emails, write IEPs, um, or sometimes even problem solve for a teacher. For instance, one time I had a student who was out sick, um, but her FM, the cord for her FM was at central office. So I took that time to drive over to the central office and get it for her and bring it back to the school because um, the folks at the school just hadn't had time to do that yet. So make sure that you always have something in your back pocket that you can be doing if for some reason your student doesn't happen to be there. So I hope following me around today was fun. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!